Great, thank you. Um, we're going to hear now from a teacher um, named Krista Bradley. She's the Tech and Innovation Teacher on Special Assignment. She has 15 years of experience in education, most of it as an upper elementary teacher um, with fourth and fifth graders. Krista was one of IMPACT's co-designers, so the IMPACT curriculum was designed with multiple um, teachers' input. They helped to design the projects, um, and they also piloted IMPACT in their classroom. So she piloted with a fourth and fifth grade classroom, and she also did IMPACT um, with an after-school club. Krista is a teacher in Salinas, California. She's at a school that's majority low income in Latinx, um, and she has many multilingual students in her classroom, just for some context. I'm gonna share this clip from her now. I have always struggled with spatial reasoning, um, but I learned through impact that it's something that can be taught and my students come to me struggling with it. So um, it was one way for me to help them overcome that barrier in mathematics. Well, I believe in it and I think it's really important to teach spatial reasoning because I've shared my struggles with spatial reasoning and I think I've learned it, this has proven to me that it can be taught even to someone that's older like me um, so we can teach it to our students as well Oops, excuse me um and i also find that it helps me incorporate the computer science standards and the 21st century skills that we're trying to teach our students um you know the four c's they're collaborating they're creating you know all those things that we want our students doing they are doing so I'm all about integrating as much as I can into my units, and this program does that. So you talked about spatial reasoning a little bit. Can you share some more about how you can tell that students are really improving their spatial reasoning with these lessons and projects? So my favorite, my favorite memory of that first year teaching the impact was um, the, the aha moment when they realized, and I don't know if this is gonna make sense to people who are watching this, but when they create the, we call them the twins, right? Of the Soma cube, but they're not really twins. <laughs> they're, they're like opposites, they're reflections of each other. And one of my fifth grade girls was trying to explain her reasoning and we weren't, Ken was there and Elise, you might've been there too. And I had another guest, giving them any answers but we're just letting them talk it out and like, are they identical? And half the kids said, yes, we like, they were debating. One side of the classroom was saying yes, the other side was not. And they were trying to explain to each other why um, they weren't or they were identical. And they're like, look, it's the exact same cubic units, like same measurement, look, like they're the same. And then she was like, no, look, like, and she took it up to a mirror physically and showed them that it was literally a mirror reflection of itself. And then all of these, the kids on the other side of the classroom were like, oh, like, it was just amazing. It was one of those moments where, you know, me and everybody else in the classroom, the teachers anyway, just looked at each other and oh, the aha moment, you know? And so, yes, I do think that is one, um, way that we prove that it does help and that they help each other work through it um and also designing actually playing with it and then transferring that into cad designing of those same pieces i think that also helps with the spatial reasoning and just taking it to that next level of rigor yeah. awesome thank you